All right. Hello, everyone. Hi, David. Hi, right. Coach. Start with opening statement from Coach Caldwell, and then feel free to ask questions. Yeah, obviously not pleased with the game. Uh, we just did not. We played tight. We played not like us in the first half. Um, and if we don't have such a bad start, I think we come out on top. But we have a lot of things we're obviously going to work on and fix. And we didn't give up. It would be really easy to look at that scoreboard and quit. And they played hard the second half. We won the second half. We just fouled too much, turned the ball over too much. Um, and then obviously didn't work hard enough on our rebounds. Do you attribute that maybe just a opening night jitters, first time this one's for real, you know, trying to still find their way as a team? Yeah, I attribute the first quarter to that. I was expecting that in the first quarter on the road, first time playing together. The second quarter baffled me a little bit. I thought we would have gotten out of it. I hadn't really seen what I had seen out of them in the second quarter yet. Um, so I don't really know. I have to go back and watch the tape on that. So part of it is, yeah, it's our first game. Um, I knew these things would be a problem. I didn't know that they would be quite this big. I knew they would get us early. Um, and we had talked about it beforehand. Turnovers, fouls, and rebounds. The, if we're going to lose, it's going to be because of those things. So what's, up, so what's up next? I mean, what do you what do you do to try to maybe turn this around quickly or at least – yeah, go from uh, point A to point B. Yeah, we you know we have a quick turnaround. We're going straight to Chattanooga. So we're going to dive into the film on the bus, and then we'll watch it. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to watch it together as a team. Um, just a lot of mistakes that I was hoping we wouldn't still be making, um, just defensively, rotationally. Um, they know they can do it now because we did it in the second half. We just got to start out stronger. And so that part to me is good. The fact that, all right, it clicked in the second half. We just, again, it was too big of a hole. Who in particular were you pleased with? What? Who in particular were you pleased with? Um, I was pleased with everyone that didn't quit, which I think was everyone on the team. Uh, Roe had a good game uh, points-wise, and she had seven turnovers. Um, I thought she did a good job leading her teammates on, uh, bringing people together, not quitting. Uh, Aislinn Hayes did a really good job of just being kind of a constant person, of just keeping them together, making sure people stayed level-headed. So th those two were good. Um, we'll get better, though. I think we had a lot of people that didn't quite produce that they will the way they will throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate your starting lineup now that you've kind of gone through the system to be drastically different than what it was for tonight? Say that again. Do you anticipate now that we've had, you know, live fire action, your starting lineup based on your criteria is going to change drastically for that second game? Yeah. I, yeah, it sure has. I'm looking at the stat sheet right now and there's a lot of zeros on there. Um, so yeah, those will, those will change. I haven't done the math on those yet, but they'll be different next game. Hey, Coach, I don't know that uh, I've seen a game with 69 fouls and 52 turnovers. Uh, is that frustrating for you guys with a flow that you guys want to have when the game yeah. slows down like that? Absolutely. And it's frustrating for everyone. It's frustrating for uh, us and them, probably. But, I mean, you can't give a team 41 foul shots and expect to win. What did you learn tonight? This was you know, your debut as a Division One coach, live fire. You know, what do you take away from this uh, to be better for for game two? Yeah, I, I learned we can do it. We just have to do it. Um, had we played all four quarters like we played the second half, honestly, had we played three quarters like we played the second half, we come away a lot happier right now, uh, and I'm very confident in that. Our third quarter absolutely killed us. Yeah, we were trying to walk the ball off the floor. We were trying to run sets. Uh, it's not our game. That's not what we really practice. And so um, just putting four quarters together the way we want it to look, uh, where we had 29 points in the third and we had 26 points in the fourth. So pace yourself to 100. Uh, in the first half, we had 11 and 11. So we were on pace for 44. So this is very big contrast between the two quarters. So second half, I was questioning everything at halftime. Uh, second half, they were a whole heck of a lot of fun, a heck of a fun to coach. Um, it's just too bad that they weren't the first. 
Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.